Well, good morning, everyone. Theodore here is waiting. We're headed out this morning to take you guys on a little adventure. And the puppies are surely going to miss us. Aren't the puppies going to miss us? But hey there. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for being here. March Madness, as March Madness chugs along. I don't know if it's slow or if it's fast. Probably a little slow for us, maybe fast for you guys, but nonetheless, it's been great. You know, We Plus Three's killing it. We're hanging in there. We're, we're keeping our vlogs coming out consistently. But uh, today, we're gonna take you guys out for a little bit. I'm gonna take you, hop in the van and uh, go see what we can find. Our first location takes us back to somewhere we went yesterday because like a bonehead, I uh, forgot one of the bags as we were checking out. So we're gonna go back and see, hopefully they can give us our merchandise so we don't have to pay for it again. The adventure begins now. No matter where we go in Florida, there is always traffic that is stop and go. We're actually headed to Target this morning because yesterday we bought Molly a swimsuit and I, we think that the cashier forgot to put the bag with the other bags, so it didn't make it home with us. And I called Target last night and they said to come in, uh, bring the receipt, go to guest services and see if anyone has turned it in. So fingers crossed, somebody that got the bag turned it in. Yeah, what we bought wasn't exactly cheap either or what we were missing wasn't exactly cheap. <laughs> so I'm hoping the the shopping gods will be in our favor on this trip. But the good news is, is that you're coming with us, so maybe you'll give us some good luck on this cloudy day. It's a high of... Yeah, it's not hot, it's very humid though. It's in the mid 80s, well, it's be in the mid 80s, but it's overcast and definitely pretty humid. And breezy. So hopefully the weather will hold out because we have some fun places to take you. So let's, Target's in here, let's go in. So as Jen was saying, our first stop brings us to Target here. Appreciate that, bud. Thank you, thank you very much. So let me know, I'm kind of curious. Are you guys team Target or are you team Walmart? Target, Target. Well, I, I was talking to them. Well, I was talking to them. Well, to us it's Target. Why is that? Because of the, the Starbucks. They just like and speak. It's aesthetic, aesthetic clothes. Oh boy, I can't wait. I just hope they give us our money back or our merchandise. They had it. Like, I was not very hopeful that they were going to have it, but they did. Yay! I really hate the fact that we use so many paper towels, but... As a family, we seem to use quite a few. Let's go with this. Store brand it is. Thank you. Sorry guys, I'm sneezing to death. I was gonna talk. Ah, the allergies, these Florida allergies really kick my butt. They have my entire life. So like I was saying there, I'm still, even three years later, have a hard time talking in a quiet store with a bunch of people. Anyway, I was saying I hate buying paper towels. One, they're super expensive. Two, they're like completely awful for the earth. Um, but, you know, with little kids at home and living in a bus, having room to store and keep up with, you know, a hundred hand towels. I don't know, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. I really don't like using paper towels because they are so wasteful, but Anyways, I'm back. Jen and Molly are still in line at Starbucks and I'm absolutely freaking starving. So as soon as we leave here, hopefully we're going to grab some food and then on with our journey. Did 
did they uh, have to go to Central America to get the beans? Yes, yes they did. They had to go and get the matcha leaves and then prepare them and then... Anyway, did you find us a place to eat, mister? I don't know about that. Ironically enough, the guy in front of me left his bag in the checkout. Oh, did he? Did you it, like run it to him? No, I got, I, by the time I realized that I picked it up and grabbed it and looked behind me, he was already out the door, so I told the lady at the thing. So hopefully he'll get it back. Huh. Well, look at you doing your good deed for the day. So I'm proud go, of you. Let's go find something to eat. I don't know what it is, but I'm absolutely starving. So once we figure it out, I'm sure we'll let you folks know. So the decision was made and it looks like it's gonna be Olive Garden for our lunch this afternoon. Get us some of those soup salad and breadsticks. Hey, I'm, I won't be mad at that. We were gonna do Chipotle, which is Molly's favorite, which is actually just right there, but her birthday's coming up this week, so I'm sure we will be pat or, uh, be pa being patrons of Chipotle here in the coming days. What are they doing? Like they, I, I, I'm like in the restaurant eating before they get out of the van. I'm waiting on Molly. Listen, we take our time. Me and my- I'm starving. My children, with the exception of Ben. Ben's not very slow. But all of the kids, me, Ethan, Molly and Eli. I'm not slow. We all like to just take our time, make sure we have everything, and get into a place. I want some dang breadsticks and salad. That's what I want. So you get soup with that too, right? Yes, you get soup, salad, and bread. Alright. Well let's uh let's make it happen. What are you doing? Okay. Do you think I want 27 pepperoncinis? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm playing trivia, sorry guys. And we're really sucking it up. We're like the last place in the whole country. I don't want all of these. Did you mix it well? Well, I'm starving, so let's get to this. Tom Hanks portrays Captain John Miller in what movie? Um, Staving Private Ryan, bottom left. Will you guys like the Olive Garden salad? Have you ever had it before? It's definitely one of my favorites. Don't We don't eat here a lot, but it is definitely really good. Bon appetit. I like it. It is a very delightful lunch. Molly suggested Chipotle, but we're going there for her birthday. And that's the only restaurant Molly suggests is Chipotle. Ever. Ever. She doesn't want to go anywhere else besides Chipotle. We're on the soup course. I got the pasta fagioli. What'd you get? I got the um, Zuppa Toscana. I mean, it's a tasty meal. They have raised the price. I remember it was $9.99 for years. Now it is apparently eleven million. It would have been close to the same price of going over to Chipotle, so at least you're getting a sit-down restaurant. But we have somewhere fun that we're taking you right after this, and uh, hopefully we'll be right on time. <laughs> you'll you'll get the joke later. <laughs> Ooh, that was that was tasty. I enjoyed myself. How about you? Right. It was very good. It was very good. I'm pretty full myself. That's a huge Olive Garden sign, by the way. They don't want you to miss this place. So the adventure is going to continue. We are going to hop in the van and boogie our way a little bit north and uh, see what we can run into. How neat is this? I think it's a replica of Big Ben. See, when we were in Olive Garden and I told you that we were going to be right on time. How cool is this? Like we were just driving by the Yeoman's Cask and Lion. That is awesome. I don't think that the clock is actually working because it's not uh, it's not that particular time. But what a cool little spot here in, I believe we're still in Claremont, pushing, bordering Kissimmee. But uh, what a cute, cute little clock. So yeah, I just saw the sign, the, uh, the where the tower is, Big Ben is, is actually the restaurant's not even open yet. So oh. it seems to be fairly new to the area. So yeah, definitely check it out in Kissimmee. Uh, really impressive looking. We are actually really loving this area and enjoying being here. Well, Claremont more so than Kissimmee. The H, H2O Island Live. They don't, it doesn't look like they have a ton of ton of water slides but that that looks really neat that looks cool here on what is what 192 
Yeah, I mean, you're we're relatively close to Disney. Um, so yeah, this is just, I guess, you know, the area just keeps expanding further and further to the west. All the years we went to Disney, we didn't, we really didn't spend a lot of time just kind of driving around the surrounding areas. We would go to Disney, and basically Disney is the master. Uh, once you get there, they keep you there. Speaking of exploring the surrounded areas, we are going to a really neat place. It's about 20 miles. Um, I don't know, you guys might know who this is that we're going to see. Clue, Kyle, think Kyle's hair. Think Kyle's hair and beard. That's a big clue. That that is a big clue. Let's let's get going and getting there so you can stay on this adventure with us. Yeah. I'll take the left. Oh help me. Help me. Interrogate. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? Okay. Travels have brought us to the Woodlawn Cemetery here in historic Gotha, Florida. I guess technically we're about, I don't know, my navigational brain serves me right, up northwest of Orlando area, up around uh, Windermere. So 1885. So like I said, we're here at the Woodlawn Cemetery. We're gonna go in here and see who we can who we can find. So our travels have brought us to Gotha, but the reason why they brought us to Gotha is because we're in a cemetery. We're at the Woodlawn Cemetery. We're looking for section O, which is proving to be oh so difficult. We have driven all over this place. The thing is, even when we find this section, then we gotta find the specific plot. Okay, so we got it. Section O is here on the left. All right, we have found Section O. We probably should have brought you in well, sooner no, than like, this. There's like signage everywhere. Like there's a little, there's a sign, like one sign per block, and there's blocks everywhere. Hey, it will show you when we go out this way. They've got some serious graves here. Like these people want to be remembered. Like this, yeah, this is the biggest cemetery I've ever seen outside of. Like Arlington? Uh, yeah, it's, it's massive. It's oh, huge. look at the baby creams. Oh, look! Oh, I don't have the zoom. Hang on. Hold on. Look, I am zooming on these cute little baby cranes. Look at them. One sat down. I didn't know this sat down. Oh, yeah, it's tired, I guess. It's like, nope, I'm done. I'm done, I mean, Mom. He's got a good place to work to get food. I'm sure there's no shortage of insects out here. Or worms. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's see if we can go find this lot. The cute little baby cranes. Out here, looking for a specific grave, we found this on Atlas Obscura. And so I think Kyle's, Kyle may have found what we're looking for. This is it. We wanted to come and see the grave of Bob Ross, October 29th, 1942 to July 4th, 1995. Fun fact, when I was a kid, my grandfather who passed on, um, he used to paint Bob Ross style paintings. And so I can remember being a little girl and watching Bob Ross with him. And it was like our, our quality time that we had together. He was on PBS and they had rabbit ears on the TV. Do you remember rabbit ears? So he had rabbit ears on the TV and sometimes the signal wouldn't come in very well. But I have been a huge fan of him for many, many years. And to get to come here and, you know, see his grave is really cool. You know, it's not elaborate like some of, like some of the graves here. The cool thing is his grave is just, it's simple. He was a simple human and that, that's reflected throughout his entire life. Lived life the right way. Loved people. Loved teaching people. Loved animals. Just he loved animals. Just absolutely talented. This is and I happen way. to have very similar hair. This so. is one way how I learned how to do art. Yeah. I love watching. Yeah, we still watch him to this day. I mean, you can watch all of his videos on YouTube. Um, 
yeah, that's all. We were in the area and I looked it up and I'm like, that's pretty stinking cool. Kyle was like, do you want to go there today? And I was like, yes, yes I do. All the little trinkets people have left him, like even throughout the years, he still, he is still remembered and loved and he was just such a great human being. One of a kind for sure. You know, he was a veteran. I mean, dude had a pretty unbelievable life. So pretty cool. Yeah, I knew he was from Florida. I didn't know exactly where he was buried. So yeah, he died in 95, so that would have been, what, 28 years ago? He left a legacy through his work and through his life and, and the kind of human that he was. And I think we all can take a little bit and learn from him uh, of how to be a great human being. Well, his message was very similar to ours. You know, anybody, he, he, want, he promoted anybody can paint, you know, and he wanted people to do that. And we, we try to promote anybody can live a life they want and happiness, so. Yeah, very inspirational and definitely somebody I think we all look up to. Leaving, we came across this grave that says Ross on it. It's Jack and Ollie D. Ross, and those were his parents. That was Bob Ross's parents, Jack and Ollie D. So that's that's really awesome that he gets to rest. There's there's his grave right there and he gets to rest right here next to his parents. So if you want to visit Bob Ross's grave here in Gotha, Gotha, Florida, you can find it in section O at the Woodlawn Cemetery. Woodlawn Cemetery. We were about to leave, but on the top of this tree right here, there's a bird. There's a bird carved on the top of the tree. That looks, that looks really cool. Somebody spent a lot of time up there carving that. It looks like it's on the natural part of the tree. Yeah, it looks like it's meant to meant yeah, to be there. Maybe an eagle, or is that like a hawk? Or, I don't know. Could be a vulture. Vulture. Yeah, it's really cool. So a, a bird carved on top of the tree. That's that's pretty awesome to see in a cemetery. This particular cemetery has a cafe. I have never seen a cemetery have. A cafe. Odd. That's a new one for me. I mean, I guess folks get hungry. But there's a there's a really nice lake out here, and a lot of these they've got plots that are facing the lake. So when you come to look at your loved ones, you can uh, sit with them by by the lake. They've got a they got another mini mausoleum here. Let us know. Do you enjoy going to cemeteries? Do you do cemeteries creep you out? Is it a place that you would you would frequent. I mean, they're kind of peaceful. Yeah, I find it to be peaceful. I mean, you know, it's, death is a part of life. It's not a happy part for most, but it's definitely a part of life, and I think there's beauty in everything. The beautiful Spanish moss that's here. I mean, it's, uh, it's a beautiful piece of, piece of property. Absolutely, yeah. You need some coffee at the cafe to perk you on up? looking for a reason to go to the cafe. I'm kind of interested to see what... I wonder if they sell like mer merchandise, like t-shirts. Like uh, uh, magnets? Magnets and t-shirts, hats. Comment down below if we should go to the cafe to check it out. I feel like we should. We were just driving by when we saw this. This is this is really cool. It's a, a monument dedicated to 9-11. I know Duty Ron, we love Duty Ron. He, um, he put in his service, and I know that, that he lost a lot of brothers and sisters in 9-11. So, Duty Ron, thank you for your service and all that you've done. This is a, it's a beautiful mural. Now, these are really cool. They each have their own little section. These are pretty, uh, pretty private and spacious. Like, I have never seen a cemetery like this in my life. Wow. That is a mural. Oh my goodness. That is huge. You've got Jesus up there. And then you have, what is that? The, the Last Supper. Wow, the crucifixions over there. The resurrection, his birth. Wow, those look like little tiles. Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't know that it's, yeah. Well, that's even more impressive if that's the case. Wow, that is a massive, mural it's beautiful. and here's more of those plots i guess you can like bury your whole family in these <laughs> i do like the benches that so they're like multi-family plots they're they're multi-family uh afterlife housing i mean as much as 
I've heard this stuff costs. I can I can imagine. It's, it's very expensive to, to uh, die. Yeah, it's expensive to do anything in life, especially die. Wow, this is this is huge. Well, we've driven around for a while and cannot seem to find a cafe. The only place that we think that it might be is over there where the funeral's happening. So yeah, we're not gonna go be funeral crashers because that would be pretty terrible. Keep it classy. I know, we gotta keep it classy. We already brought you to a funeral home on that's today's cool. adventure. I mean, that's pop off. That's not just any grave. That's yeah. Man. Yeah. The, the, legend. the man, the myth, the legend. You have his hair. And you don't even have to get it permed. Bob Ross actually got permed. He called it tightening the springs. So I think we're gonna go somewhere else after this. We are going, hmm, somewhere cool. You're gonna wanna go because it's on Molly's phone. Let's roll. Adventure has led us just north of downtown Orlando to the Salvation Army. This particular one has a rehabilitation center, which is pretty cool. I, I, I really like the Salvation Army. I think they're a wonderful organization. They do a lot of good stuff. Out of all the giant uh, thrift charity places, I think they're the best, or at least in my opinion, they're the best, or at least the most charitable. You know, you know us, we like to thrift and see if we can find any hidden gems. Uh, like I said, Orlando, I believe is just, yeah, I think you might, being GoPro, you probably can't see it, but you see the tips of downtown just over there. So let's go check this place out. You guys are scaring me. So I found these. We're gonna go somewhere in a couple days and I need like actual cute sandals, summery sandals. But Some flip flops? No, not like those, like these, like cute. And they're, most of them are in my size, which is good. Mm -hmm. I'm a seven and There's a half. Water shoes. They're That's cool. Those are, oh, oh, uh, yeah, there's something. I don't, uh, think you, I don't think heels is the right option for what we're doing. I know. I just like looking at heels, though. Here we go. They have these. These are like... Like my mom. Havana? What do they call them? Havana? Havana? Havana. That's true. And you do a big feet. Oh, look how cute these are. Aren't these two? Yeah. Not too. Okay. Here, look at these for Eli. Mm -hmm. These are perfect. These are from a good brand too. We buy a lot of Wander Nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. On a hunt, um, I'm either looking for some jean shorts or some sandals slash flip flops. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, these are cool. I really love these ones, but I'm just thinking I need some flip flops, not sandals. I'll be looking at jean shorts just right on this aisle. Okay, so, score. All right. Oh, these are cute. They're jean shorts. These are kind of short, short. If you guys, if it was real life, then you guys should probably see how short they are. These are cute, too short. Oh my gosh. This be cute. Oh wow, I actually think I might show my dad these. We have got our goods. I think though, it's time to get home to those puppies because I'm sure they miss the snuggles. Waiting on, uh, see the white van rolling up. When we get home, we'll snuggle the puppies and we'll show you the goods that we got. But for now, we say goodbye to the Salvation Army and we're gonna get into Bodie and get on our way. Let's roll. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? What can I be saying? I want to catch the way. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? What can I be saying? Oh, there's the cheeky. Well, oh, there's the wheezy. Where's the wheezy? I guess the boys are in their kennel. I hear them. I did promise one thing, didn't I? I was going to show you the outfits that we got. So, uh, hang on. Molly's up first. Look at these cute shorts that Molly got. How much were they? 
They were four dollars. Like a dress, but I just love oversized, comfy stuff, and this is really comfy. So this is my first one. This is a cute little dress that ties in the front. And it was $4.99. I have two more to try on, but I am saving the best for last because I think you're really gonna get a kick out of that one. So these cute pants are actually uh, the brand Hudson. And the brand Hudson are about a hundred plus dollars a pair. I got these for a shocking price of $4.99. But now though, just wait until you see this next piece. I think it's a swimsuit. Here it is. This is my new swimsuit that I am like mildly obsessed with. I, I don't know if it's actually a swimsuit, but I'm kind of loving it, even if it's just for like a Halloween costume. Woo! I feel like, you know, jazzercise or something. Uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's a fun $3 outfit that I bought. Let's go check on Kyle. The boys are playing some video games. Eli, what are you playing? Fortnite. Fortnite? How you feeling in here, buddy? Uh, resting. I'm really sleepy. Mm. It was a long day. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this new swimsuit of mine? Mm, it's a doozy. It's a doozy? Well, from all of us at the bus, we're gonna go and we can't wait to see you at the premiere yay for march madness let's go we plus three let's cheer them on we are already halfway through march madness and if you're not trying to win the prizes you are missing out me and my me and my new swimsuit we're gonna we're gonna go chill for a little bit see you next time damia bell was last seen on march 24 2022 missing from adrian michigan Born on August 27, 2006, 16 years of age, black female, brown hair, brown eyes, 5 foot 4, and approximately 140 pounds. Again, Damian was last seen on March the 24th of 2022. If you have any more information to the whereabouts of Damian, please reach out to the Lenawee County Sheriff's Office at 517-263-0524. Let's see if we can try to help bring Damian home. Look, I am zooming on these cute little baby cranes. Look at them. What's that now? I don't see that now. Oh, yeah, it's tired, I guess. It's like, nope, I'm done. I'm done, I mean, Mom. He's got a good place to work to get food. I'm sure there's no shortage of insects out there. Or worms. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's see if we can go find this lot. That cute little baby crane.